ground, or, or the toe of the club rather is pointing down to the ground and the club face is pointing over here to my backside. I'm in an open face position. That's likely going to create a slice unless I do something very creative like trying to release the club to square the face. We don't want to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this club without holding it on, I mean this football, without gripping it with the fingertips. And what we want to do is we want to feel like the football is parallel to the ground here. So we're going to set up like this and create parallel to the ground. Let the body rotate and create a parallel to the ground position. Now, is it going to be parallel to the ground? No, but it's going to be more parallel to the ground. I'm not going to have it dead parallel to the ground. That's just not going to happen. Body's not going to work that way. But it's going to be more parallel to the ground. What I ideally am looking for is maybe a 45 degree angle. But for those of you that are slicing, which again is most of you, 80 to 85% by the way, let me just get back to that. So when we take this club back, we want to feel like it's more than on a 45 degree angle, almost toe up a little bit, okay? So right there, that's probably a 60 degree angle. Just get a feel of what that happens with that trail palm. I've done that. Now I'm going to put this ball down. And I want to make a swing. And I'm imagining that I've got that football in my hand. And now I'm feeling that there. You can see how when I do that, if I took the hand off, my palm would be on at least a 45 degree angle and likely on a 60 degree angle. So now I do that. Now that's going to shut the face. And now I can release for power. And I released for power, and that thing was hit so hard that the, the thing didn't even register.